Hello guys, welcome to Street Opinion on MetroLens. My name is Clement. Today we are on the street of Portacot to talk to Portacot people about the outgoing government and the incoming government. Now, what is my question? My questions are simple. How has the outgoing government felt so far? And what is the expectation about the incoming government? Now, also we'll be asking them, what do you want the government to do for the people that will make the people to be happy? That's just our question today. So guys, what do you think about it? Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, follow Metro Lens on all social media platforms. We are on Facebook and Instagram. Yeah. Okay, thank you. For the question you raised so far is a very good one. But for me, I said the outgoing government, they have tried in the area of uh, infrastructure, as that is construction and beautifying the state. But for the state, they have tried to beautify the state by doing construction of uh, river and other things. But what I would like to say, but in the area of uh, human capital development, whereby the, when you construct the, 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 the buildings, people need to have uh, the resources to work on it. In the process whereby people don't have something to do to apply on those things, it causes a challenge to the people. Also for the federal uh, government, the outgoing government at least, I might say they have tried in some ways in the, by the area of local production, which they say that we should uh, people, the farmers, I can say that the farmers are happy that they are, they are selling their, uh, resource, their outputs, I mean their products. But in the aspect of uh, other things as meeting the connectivity, as in meeting the outline of the people, people that is uh, all the states, there's chaos and there's challenges all over. So that should be a kind of trans transparency and uh, equality. For the state, I would like the incoming administration to work on human capital development. That is creating jobs for the people. Because many, many youths that are into many other hundrums and things, these people, these youths are hard working. They have spent their money to learn a, a kind of skill or business or go to school, but there is no job. And when a man has gone to school or do a kind of thing, there's expectation for a person to do well. But if I'm not doing well, they, there will be a fallout. So my expectation for the government is to try to get to the grassroots and know what the youth and what the people need for the Federal also, Federal have the power and they have the resources because it's then that give to the people, to the state before the state give to so they should look into every state as in that should be check and balance. They should not only sit at the at the upper house and do thing, and taking things for granted by not considering the, 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 the state and other things. So that is what I have to say so far. The, go, the incoming government they should try as much as possible to work on human capital development. That is job creation and business enabling uh, business enabling environment. Yeah. So business enabling environment and work on their transition to create a kind of business and give grants to the people, raise uh, 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 money for the people to start a business. So this is what I have to say.